The EPA is denying claims tonight that it deliberately ignored evidence at a toxic Superfund site in South Asheville. News 13's Megan Shearing joins us. Megan, the new accusations are being made by CTS, and it could affect the cleanup of the site. That's exactly what the EPA is telling us tonight, Larry. And late tonight, attorneys for CTS filed this 38-page appeal. They claim that the EPA was intentionally hiding data so that it could put the CTS site on a high-priority list. Now CTS officials are demanding the site be removed from the National Priorities List, or NPL. The EPA only puts a site on the NPL if it is determined to pose an immediate risk to people's health. And officials can force the contaminator to then pay for a cleanup until it's closed or until it closed its South Asheville location. CTS used the toxic chemical TCE to clean electric components at the plant. CTS says the EPA placed the site on the MPL because of contamination it found in wells at the Oaks subdivision about a mile from CTS and ignored evidence that the Oaks contamination was likely caused by septic tank systems. According to CTS officials, chlorinated solvents like TCE were used to clean and treat septic tank systems, but the EPA failed to test them. In a sit-down interview with News 13's Mike Mason, activist Tate McQueen says if CTS wins this legal challenge and the site is removed from the MPL list, it could be an egregious act of injustice for the victims. Do you think CTS has a case? A case of uh, shenanigans, yeah. A case of, you know, <laughs> wishful thinking, yep. But hasn't uh, the EPA dropped the ball in the past, too? Well, let's rephrase that. Mm -hmm. Does CTS have a case? They have a case of uh, selective memory. Yes, they're taking advantage of EPA's previous history at this site because they know that EPA didn't handle the site properly as the regulator, and they've used that as leverage all along. So um, this is more the same. Now, CTS says it could lose a lot of money by remaining on the MPL. In court documents, the corporation claims it could incur significant financial loss, including damage to its business reputation and increased probability of a costly cleanup. And according to the EPA, if removed from the list, uh, the state and taxpayers could be stuck with cleanup costs of the CTS site. Now, the EPA is denying all of CTS's claims in this uh, new document or new appeal, and the court will hear uh, oral arguments from both sides and uh, decide what action to take from then. Reporting live in South Asheville tonight, Megan Shearing, News 13.